Well, go on, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. In this episode, we are going to make our Igezine jetpack. In the last episode, we were trying to completely make it in one episode, but unfortunately, we did. I did not realize that it would have taken so much resources to make these things. So now we have our graphene and our nitrogen, so we only are short of our titanium. Now to get titanium, we well, I am going to be visiting the, the planet called Glacio to to get that done. I've already been to Glacio. I've already dug the caves and tethered out a bit. So um, I'm just going to take off in this space shuttle here um, to Glacio. Now we already have well, I keep saying we, but I already have some equipment out in glacio some storage items and so on and so forth so i'm not going to be taking much stuff with me um now let's just see if we can find glacio there we go Glacio is normally a lonely planet sticking out by itself it has no moons based on what i can um, observe or what i've observed it has no moons um it's always by itself so yeah no, I'm looking for, as I said, I've been here before, so I'm looking for the area that I placed my tether, my beacon. Um, wow, look at this. This is this is nice in the distance to the left. It looks like the Aureolus effect. I think that's what it's called. I think. Um, I am no astronomer. I am no astrologist, whatever the, um, the name of the profession is. No... Here's my beacon coming up down down on the, on the south end of the planet, I think. I'm just making random assumptions here. So I'm just going to land where that beacon is. It's automatically going to tether or send power out to the tether because some amount of power comes from the space shuttle. So I'm going to be making a, a platform so that I can put down these stuffs. So the first thing, let me just quickly create a um, small printer. And I'm also, well, to make a platform, I, hmm, well, let's see. Let's let's put down the, the, the printer first. Um, let's try to find a relatively flat area. So that can be good. And now that I'm getting power from my 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 wind turbine i'm going to quickly create a medium platform i need one resin for that fortunately i have resin here right beside me and while that is being done i'm going to be looking out for some compound and here we go compound here there's also clay nice um so let me grab the compound and wow, I never, I never thought that um, titanium would be found on the surface, but we can see. We can see where the titanium here is showing that green stuff. So, but let me just grab the compound and get back to where my space shuttle is, so that I can um make this platform the per the platform is here now it's time to make the printer not a printer well a medium printer there we go and when the medium printer is made i'm going to be making a wow i'm out of no wind no wind is blowing so i think it's best for me to make a generator because that is not dependent on wind the wind is kind of unstable unpredictable it's here now it's not there anymore so generator where is it right here um can i connect it from this end and i'm going to attach that and there we go i just need the basic items to to start off and then I go and do the collection all right so this is done 
I, and I think I've, I pretty much do this for all planets that I go to. I make a small generator, I make a small printer, and then I go from there. So now, now that that is completed, let me connect this. Only if it would allow itself to be selected. All right, and and let me just quickly grab some oxygen here. No, I'm going to make a platform, a large platform, of which I need three resin, like so. And here we go. No. When the platform is finished, I can put all of these stuffs. You can get them in a little bit of order. And it is obvious that I'm not going to be getting much energy from that small um, turbine. So let me just connect that and get some uh, organic items to just supplement that power situation right there. So that should be enough all right it's 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 go it goes on slowly but it 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 works it works all right so let me just while that is going on i'm going to unload some of this stuff so that i have space to collect that titanite that i came here for um what else i don't need that I don't think I need two canisters so let that well well alright okay so let me go and get some titanite and then I'll be back now be careful because this the 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 um the descent to this cave is a little bit too steep so you can fall to your death well i can pretty much fall to my death quickly if i am not careful now oh because i was wondering where is the light so um titanite oh here we go here we go and let me connect this gel mod to that to this to the terrain tool right here No, I am just as it as it is obvious. This drill mod is not sufficient to you know easily mine this area. So it would be good if I had the other the the, the other stronger drill mods. Um, but because we are just getting a bit of titanite, nothing too serious. We can go a little bit with with what we have uh, so I'm just going to get some oxygen and then I'm going to um, get the remaining the remaining um, titanite that we have here so we're not getting much titanite oh oh there, there's titanite in the um, piece that is above us which is always good so you always want to pay attention to the, um, the areas above because sometimes the resource that's where the resources are so you can be walking around for a lengthy period of time searching and it is right above your head literally most of the times so um yeah i think my platform should be finished now i'm going to just look in another area to see wow Ooh. I'm just going to grab these research samples because quite frankly they provide a lot of bites 350 on average and that's a lot so I'm just going to go out all right so we have found a complete well almost a complete backpack of titan titanite no I think that should be sufficient for what we're really looking to do so we're not going to spend much time here we're just going to get back um to the base or to where to where our shelter is and get back down to to silver all right now that we're back here let's just quickly arrange these items in a lightly orderly manner um just so that we can you know have these things 
uh, sitting where they are supposed to go. I, do I need this? I'm not 100% positive. So, um, okay. Do I have any more storage items? I doubt it. So I'm going to quickly create. Or you know what? I'm going to take these carbon off. Quickly take this carbon out. And I'm going to use this as my storage for the titanite that I've collected. And um, what I may do, I may just get another storage fill filled with um, hematite. Because hematite is also a resource that is here um, in, in big proportion. One other thing that I'm also going to be doing, I also always take out the oxygenator from the um, from the space shuttle. Because to be honest, I don't really need it on the space shuttle. I've already have one from silver, and that is more than enough. So let me disconnect this, and I'm going to turn this medium printer. Are connected to the only if I can select it. I'm going to come on what's going on here all right oh it's connected oh wow so I was wondering why is it not um, why is it so hard to select it all right so everything is just going to be placed in placed in random areas I'm not going to try to figure to get anything on a flattened surface let me just rotate the sprinter um, in this correct orientation there we go um a little bit better i also think we could go ahead and make another medium or a large platform we have lots of resin here in the distance let me just quickly grab some and once this is done i need at least three once i have at least three i'll create another platform and that should quickly arrange my base in the fashion that I that I well I, it's not a base this is just like a an outpost so let me just grab these resin and um, yeah I'm getting back to silver in a very short while uh, so there we go large platform B we have enough to create that that in a quickly man quick manner okay so now that we we found some hematite and as i mentioned earlier i'm just going to be grabbing these um because i don't really need a lot of it but because i'm already here at glacier i'm just going to make use of the opportunity and get as much as i can so that's here, right there. Well, I can get rid of these. Let me get rid of these organic stuff. Um, and grab these two, and then I'm I'm going to get out of out of um glacier. So this is all we came to glacier for. Some lithium, which we some titanium, sorry, which we have, and um as I mentioned, I have a a, a small portion of. Um, hematite. So we're getting back to silver. We're going to be creating our hydrazine jetpack. And the last time I created the solid fuel jump jet, what had happened was that it was my first time and I was completely oblivious to how it works. So I have, an, I have a slight idea how this one works um, and I'm going to be seeing if it works in a similar fashion to the jump jet. So let's look for, where, where is this place? Oh, it's behind me. So we are now back at um, silver. We are now back at base. And it's, it's a bit darker around here. I should work on the lighting situation here. Floodlights should do the trick. But let me just grab my titanite. Come on. No, I don't want a single titanite. I want the whole thing. So I'm going to be smelting these. Let me just quickly replace. 
what's going on like so oops i was i was putting them in i was putting uh, this thing on the um soil centrifuge so there we go things are now smelting and titanium is on its way um this is good good stuff good stuff uh, i'm just going to put the hematite down on this one and i'm going to replace it and have it smelted so there's there's the um our first batch of titanium all is looking looking real nice all right so let's get the titanium i'm so pumped let's get the titanium and we're going to our chemistry lab to create this titanium alloy there we go titanium alloy is coming right up let me zoom right in and uh, we are awaiting titanium alloy there we go beautiful all right so let's go make the jetpack let's make the jetpack now do we make the jetpack from the bag i think we do let's go let's cycle through all the stuff that we have there we go Oh my god, we need two! Oh wow. Why didn't that come to mind? Alright, so one. Let me just quickly create the other stuffs. This this I've always um been one step behind. So let me go ahead. We have nitrogen. It's just to create graphene. Now for graphene we definitely need the hydrazine. So we have, we're doing this all over again, but thankfully we have all the resources. Um, wow, we only have one ammonium. So I'm going to quickly get some ammonium and then I will create the other um, jetpack and we'll be back. All right, so here's our second titanium alloy, which means that we can go ahead and make our second I just need jetpack. Now, let me get rid of all the fluffs, all the stuffs I don't need. I still do have an extra hematite here, so I'm just going to be put it there to smelt. And um, wait, is this? Yeah, this is a titanite as well. All right, so let's go see what this this thing does and how it works. All right, so put this work light there. Put our edges in there and we need hydrazine to get this thing working i guess so let me go and create hydrazine i'm thinking we need hydrazine right don't you think hmm. all right so we have our ammonium so let's go create two hydrazine just to see how this thing works i am excited because I really want to see how different um, Ijazine Jetpack is versus Solid Fuel Jump Jet. Well, I'm from the name, the name suggests that the Jetpack will go a longer period of time. Alright, so we have Ijazine, we have our Ijazine Jetpack, and now it's time to see how, how it works. Oh wow wow it goes for a very very long time wow this is amazing oh my lord look at the amount of time wow wow i've been floating i've been flying this is literally i've been flying and i'm now above the forest oh my gosh Look at how amazing this thing is. Jesus. Oh let me get let me get down a bit. Take your time. Just to get some oxygen. And while we're getting the oxygen, we're going to be um just grabbing these ammonium because we need the ammonium to create the hydrazine. And if this is how good the hydrazine jetpack is then I don't need to create it. What's the purpose of the jump jet? I guess it, well the jump jet is just for that initial stage but to be honest it takes a lot of resources to create the um, the hydrazine jetpack 
and it's all worth it. That's that's the takeaway. It, it's all worth it. So I went to um, Silver. Well, I went to Glacio to get titanium. I went to Vesania or Nova, sorry, to get um, the the hematite that I needed to create the atmospheric condenser, and um, it the rest was history. The rest was history. So let me quickly fly out. Um, wow. So if you hold on on the space button, it takes you vertically and the you move to whichever direction you want to move based on the direction that you press on the keypad. This is amazing. And obviously the Agazine, wow. How far can I go? I'm pretty sure if, if it runs out here, I'm, I'm literally, I'm toasted. And I am in so much awe. Now take your time, take your time, take your little time. And there we go. Now we're landed. Let's see. Wow, it's just halfway. Oh my God. So, all right. I am going to, hmm, let me find a reference point. Let's see if we can fly to to this mountain over here. That should be interesting. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. What is this up here? I'm even finding stuff. That's, this is, what is this? That's graphite. Oh my God. Wow, this is, this is, this is brilliant. But I, I'm thinking that if you are going to be flying around with a hydrazine jetpack, you're going to need some, something to create oxygen to store oxygen or create oxygen because then you're going to run out, run out pretty quickly so there you go you can see that as i fly around i am running out of oxygen and you can see my base an aerial shot of my base there wow this is this is this is this is beautiful this is beautiful now let's do one more I'm going to be flying one more time. This is amazing. Well, let me get let me store these ammonium first. I do not want to lose them. So all the ammonium that I have will be going right here. Come on. Like so. And we've we've grabbed a, a nice a nice amount. Um one more space. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to go as high as I can wow this is this is this is beautiful I love this wow and I and I am assuming that these I oh my god no I'm dead I am I am so dead. I am so dead. That was a pretty decent fall. But the the beacons on the um on the jetpack shows you how much you have. And these are not reusable items, are they? They are. They are. So once you make them once, you you don't need to make make it again. I'm guessing. You just need to fuel it and it's it's really beautiful it works like a charm um wow i am i am lost for words wow i feel i'm going no i'm not i'm not gonna do it anymore but so that's that's going to be it guys these these are amazing i think it surpasses the if only if only i could just jump and fly now it's it does surpass the level of the jump jet the jump jet just basically you literally just jump around and you can see from episode four my impressions of the jump jet but this this jetpack is 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 lovely it's lovely i just want to take off you know i just want to take off anyways that's going to be all for today this is an eyesore that's going to be all for today I'll see you in the next episode. You take it easy and have a good one. Bye-bye.